We um, help our graduates help to develop their career after graduation by encouraging them to re-engage with the campus. There's lots of opportunities that we provide to our graduates to help them to continue to develop. One of those things is we have employers who come back all the time to talk about their industry, their company, and the opportunities that they have. And our graduates can take a part of that at any time. We also encourage them to re-engage with their career service advisors. We're here to guide them on how to build a resume, how to um, interview, how to job search, how to come back and add the experience that they have gained either in their first externship or in that first job opportunity out in the industry, how to build their resume for that next career opportunity. We help our students develop soft skills through um, interviewing workshops and mock interviewing events. So we really encourage our students to work on and develop their interview skills. Um, many of our campuses actually host mock interview events where employers from the industry will come in and mock interview students. Ultimately, sometimes these lead to real interviews, which is really exciting, but it's a great opportunity for a student to practice in a comfortable environment that professional interviewing techniques. We also do a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching with our students where we're working on interviewing, we're working on the you know how to follow up correctly after a, an interview, how to interact in the interview process. So we do do a lot of coaching one-on-one -on -one with our students. We help our students um, have develop a career plan actually through a career planning meeting that is required by all of our students with their career service advisor. In this meeting, the goal is to map out the steps that they need to take in order to attain that first opportunity after they graduate. And so we really do focus in on that career map for each one of our students. One thing I think that's really important about networking is the maintenance of that network. Um, you can build lots of great relationships, but if you don't stay connected with these individuals, you're not going to be able to connect with them when you need them in the future. So think about ways that you can maintain that network by reaching out to them periodically, um, sharing what's going on with you in your career, maybe once a quarter throughout the year, and asking them about what, what's going on with their institution, what's going on with their career, so that you can make a note and learn from their experience is. I think it's a great opportunity to keep an eye on what's going on in your network so that you can reach out and congratulate them when they've accomplished milestones um, in their industry. So it's really important to like maintain that network so that in the future you're able to call upon those resources when you need to you know, gain further knowledge or maybe look for another opportunity. What I like most about my position is the opportunity to lead the career services team in providing really great support and resources for our students. I think we get to feel really great about what we do here because we get to watch our students grow and develop in their skills and then ultimately gain that dream job. For Career Development Month, we are actually doing an initiative to bring in as many employers to speak to our graduates. And that's something that we do year round, but this month we're bringing in an extra number of, of these events. Um, and the opportunity is really for our employers to come in and talk about what they do, talk about the positions that they have available, talk about what it's like to be in their industry. And it's a really great opportunity for our students to learn about all the different options that are out there. These um, virtual presentations that we're doing this year are anywhere from like 45 minutes to an hour. And not only do the students learn a lot, but they also have an opportunity to build their network by asking questions and meeting the representatives from these employers, which could potentially lead to um, job opportunities or interviewing in the future.
You know, the success story that comes to mind is really perseverance. We have, you know, a student who has come to us and initially, you know, they have no experience, they have no real knowledge of the industry, but if they buy into working with career services and following all the steps in their career plan, they're ultimately going to be able to find success. You know, I've had students who have come in and attended multiple of employer presentations, multiple job events, and through that exposure to employers that are out there, they have been able to make connections that ultimately lead to externship or employment opportunities.